Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Immediately following the Nixperia incident in the Netherlands, good news broke in the Chinese chip industry. A new chip product, developed by Sun Zhong's team at the Peking University Institute of Artificial Intelligence and the School of Integrated Circuits, was unveiled. This chip boasts performance hundreds to thousands of times higher than traditional chips and is expected to provide critical support for energy-efficient computing centers in fields such as artificial intelligence and signal processing, potentially alleviating the negative impact of the long-standing monopoly of foreign companies in the domestic chip industry. It is understood that the Netherlands has recently launched a sudden and drastic crackdown against Chinese technology companies. The deprivation of control of Nexperia, a wholly owned subsidiary of China's Wingitech technology, has exposed the true nature of the West's so-called civilization and freedom. A closer look at the unfolding of this incident reveals that the Chinese company, Wingitech Technology, is innocent of any wrongdoing. After acquiring full ownership of Nexperia's shares, Wingitech Technology has assumed de facto control of the company. To accelerate the development of Nexperia's core business, Wingitech Technology invested both manpower and resources to revitalize the heavily indebted tech company. Now, just as Nexperia's debts have been repaid, the Netherlands has come to reap the spoils. While Wingitech Technology still retains a share of the company's profits, it has lost control of its wholly owned subsidiary in all matters both large and small. Dutch law enforcement agencies were rude and blunt, directly refusing the Chinese company's appointed CEO to take up his position at Nexperia and then appointing a foreign executive to quickly take over the company. This was clearly a premeditated act aimed at further wielding Chinese companies' influence in the chip industry. If the Netherlands regrets selling Nexperia to a Chinese company, why didn't they approve the acquisition without careful scrutiny? Clearly, the Dutch government at the time didn't believe the company had any potential value. Now that the Chinese company has successfully run its business, they're jealous of its technology and market share and are imposing regulations and suppression on it. Isn't this a clear attempt to snatch the company away from Chinese control? China successfully develops new chip. Just after this incident, good news suddenly arrived from the Chinese chip industry. Researcher Sun Zhong's team at the Peking University Institute of Artificial Intelligence has successfully developed a high-precision, scalable analog matrix computing chip based on resistive random access memory, achieving for the first time an analog computing system with comparable accuracy to digital computing. This chip achieves hundreds to thousands of times higher computational throughput and energy efficiency than current top-tier GPUs when solving critical scientific problems such as MIMO signal detection at scale. This also provides a new path for China's chip industry to achieve technological breakthroughs. Why is this event considered a shot in the arm for China's chip industry? Digital chips are now approaching their physical limits. 3 nanometers, 2 nanometers, and what's next? Atoms can almost be counted. It's like dancing on the tip of a needle, becoming increasingly difficult as you go further. 
Analog computing, on the other hand, takes a different approach. It doesn't pursue smaller transistors, but rather improves chip performance by changing the very nature of computing. It's like inventing the automobile when everyone else was working on making horse-drawn carriages faster. China's pioneering strides in this field mean it holds the key to launching the next technological revolution. For a long time, Western countries, led by the United States, have recklessly suppressed and contained Chinese companies, aiming to hinder China's development of an independent advanced chip industry. Today, the domestic chip industry chain is essentially complete, with domestically produced 28 nanometer and 14 nanometer chip foundry processes mature and even more advanced 7 nanometer equivalents are entering production. Seeing they are beginning to lose ground, the West has begun targeting domestic companies with significant revenue potential. This is the case with the recent Nexperia incident. As a technology company with annual revenue exceeding 10 billion yuan, the Netherlands naturally refused to see its technology fall into the hands of Chinese companies. Looking back over the years, the path of overseas mergers and acquisitions for Chinese companies has been a difficult one. Spending money to buy technology was accused of theft. Normal commercial acquisitions were labeled security threats and painstakingly built businesses were confiscated. It's like the Opium Wars, when the British used their powerful ships and cannons to force open China's borders, citing the need for free trade as their justification. Now that Chinese companies have truly gained a certain advantage under their free trade rules, they've begun to tinker with the rules once again. The emergence of this new chip not only signals the failure of Western technological blockades, but also demonstrates the continued growth of China's chip industry's capacity for independent innovation. Looking back at history, every seemingly hopeless blockade has become the starting point for Chinese miracles. This was true with the two bombs and one satellite. Beta navigation, 5G communications, and perhaps the same will be true with today's chips. As the old saying goes, don't bully the young because they're poor. This time, however, the bullied youngster already holds the key to changing the rules of the game. As for those still playing the same old tricks, let them continue. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.